Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch. Last time, we finished up everything that we could do in Bob on Battlefield, except for one star that we currently cannot get. And today, we're going to go ahead and spend most of our time, or all of our time, pretty much, in this one star room right here. Because we can. This one, you can actually get all the stars on your first attempt. Uh, and by first attempt, I mean you don't, you don't have to come back when you get more abilities. But yeah, you can get them pretty much on your first try through. So if you don't like Bob on Battlefield, this level is actually pretty decent. I like it for the most part. But it is very easy to die in this level. So just so you know. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. He said it's six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in some courses until you press the cap switches. The stars you you found will show on each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, it's like the stars you recovered from them. Okay, yeah, by see the enemies you defeated, it means, like, you know, refight them. Because, like, King bob -omb, he'll only show up on that first star in the... in the, uh, bob -omb battlefield. Womp's Fortress. Chip off Womp's block. Okay. Hello, the Lokito brother's cutting in with a live update of Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around by tilting R, pull R back to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is Lokito brothers, signing off. Uh, I'm not probably going to worry about the sneaky part too much, because I just don't care. Let's see, can I get up here? Yeah, I can, there we go. We could go through there. And those things will try to push you off. And remember how I said this level is very easy to die? Yeah, because it's floating in the sky. So, that's why. And a whole bunch of... Uh... Whatever those block dudes are called. And then the thwomps, which are, you know, the, the walking concrete bricks. You could sneak up on the pir piranha plants. Or... You can do that. There you go. Jump. Dot, jump and attack for the dive, and you're good to go. Oh, I guess I can open up the... Yeah, there's some fall damage right there. You kind of get squished a little bit. Is he not here yet? I was, I was going to say I could open it up, but he's not there yet. Okay, worry about it later then. Yeah, you could sneak up on the piranha plants and punch them that way, but I don't see the point. It's just faster to tackle them from a distance. Like... So, like so. Actually, I didn't even try that time, and it still got him. These, they will fall off behind you, so you want to be careful. And this part right here can be a bit of a pain in the ass, because of the way that little platform moves, especially when you're trying to get the red coin later. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and head to the middle. And then, go to the front. Ta-da! Nice and easy. Like, these guys, super easy. Wait for them to belly flop on you. And then do a ground pound on their backs. And they drop five coins each. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Ta -da. Yeah, this is... I think this was a reasonably decent one to get the, uh, the coin challenge on. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha! Okay. I will try. And again, this guy is just like his little lackeys. Step in front of him. Wait for him to belly flop you. And there we go. One more time here. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. That was his uh, death cry right there. Do -do -do. Chip off Womp's back. Yeah, course two here, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, there are 15, I think I said this, there are 15 courses, I think. I'm going to try to go through them in order, but it might not always be the case. All right, to the top of the fortress. This is very similar to the last one that we just did, except uh, you don't get the little message from the Lakitos. Also, if you go really close to the wall, you'll start, like, siddling. So, not terribly useful, but it's there. Can I just get up there, please? Thank you. Yeah, this is very similar to the last one, where you want to head up to the 
top of the fortress here. By the way, if you're really smooth, you might be able to make the jump right there, but uh, I don't see the need to. So instead, let's go real quietly. That didn't work. Yeah, he'll go back to sleep. Come on, real quiet like. There we go. You don't really tiptoe so much as just kind of walk slowly. Shadow of a beach. Not a big fan of that part right there, but whatever. Okay. Let's try this again without the uh, without the sneak it up because sneak it up seems to not work quite as well as I'd like. I'm gonna ignore you. Thank you, sir. I need that. There we go. I think there's a life over here if you need it. No? There's lives around here somewhere, but for the most part, uh, you save after every star, so dying and getting a game over eventually is not that big of a deal. So I don't really care about it too much. There are some lives that will chase you down compared to you having to chase them down. They're not terribly common, but they will happen every once in a while. You could make that jump, but apparently I suck, so I'm not going to. Come on, up you go. There you go, chubs. Yeah, I think I do prefer the N64 controller for the game, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, you need to calm yourself. Goodbye. Get up. Dude. Ha. Ah. This controller is very... I don't know if this is a controller or the controls. I think it might just be the controls in general, because even on the Joy-Cons, I was having a little bit of trouble with controlling Mario. And in case you're not familiar with the Switch, the Joy-Cons, or the little detachable... Uh, mini controllers on the side of the system that are very tiny. There we go. 20 tries later. Alright, there we go. I'm going to ignore you because I don't care about you. You little cross-eyed weirdo. You are right in the way, so I'm going to use you for health recovery. You get up there. There we go. Alright, and apparently defeating Mr. Womp here has caused bullet bills and a giant tower to show up, so that's pretty cool. By the way, pay attention to that board for later, because I kind of forgot it existed the last time I came through here. And it actually is very helpful for getting a particular star. So, yeah, just keep that in mind for very soon. Unlike me, who just didn't even notice it ex its existence. To the top of the fortress. Done. Wamp's fortress level, or star number three. Let's go. Shoot into the wild blue. This one is... Oh, okay, I think I remember what this one is. Yeah, this one's actually not that bad. Uh, this one's actually easy to die on just because of how you're doing it, but it's not that bad of a... of a star. You'll prepare the cannon for me. Awesome. I'm always curious how well, you, how well you guys can hear my neck cracking when I do that. I mean, they're pretty loud to me, but I don't know how you're going to feel about them. Or if you can even hear them. Okay, so for the star right here, we want to aim for basically that pillar in the background right there. Of that little platform. So let's aim it right about uh, here. There you go. Yeah, you want to bonk onto the pillar, otherwise there's a chance you might just like fall off. 
So, there we go. Fall down, or slide down the little pool. And a nice easy star. I know you guys can hear those. Damn ducks. Let's go for the fourth one. Yeah, this is a reasonably quick world. Uh, let's see. Red coins in the floating aisle. This one might be a little longer, but we should be okay. I don't think there's any warp in uh, this level. Oh, I kind of forgot you existed, but you do, and now you don't anymore. So, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. See, I think this one is actually significantly easier to get the 100 coin star, so that's nice. One of these has a... I thought one of these had a, a coin in them. Or not a coin. A... I thought one had a life in them. I fell off the edge of that little bastard with a face. With a face, not a vase. Yeah. Let's try this again. Mr. Piranha. There you go. I think that's the first guy they intended us to use our little sneaky sneak on, but it didn't work. That's about as slow as I can go, so I'm not really terribly worried about it. Let's grab you. Let's throw it right here. That way there's no chance of any of the three coins there falling off the edge, despite the fact that we don't need them as much. I could probably save some of these coins for the last five, and I think I'll save some of them for it, but I'm not sure which one. Let's... You fucking... He fucking slid forward and went off the edge like an asshole. Mario, why? I mean, Mario is pretty good with, like, his turns and stuff. I mean... You can sit here and do... Where is it? Uh, I was doing this earlier just to try it out. Yeah, you can just go ahead and do those back and forth all day. But sometimes just getting them to stop can be a bit of a pain. There we go. Grab you. I think I'm going to save you for later. Yeah, I'll save that for later just because uh, it's just nice and easy to remember. It's there, and it's right next to where the red coin will spawn. If for uh, some reason I don't have the star... By then. There we go. Finally made it. Let's not jump off the edge here. I don't know why that green block is here. I, I Actually, I do know. I, I just remember. Never mind. There are special caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step on the switches and the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. Okay, I think with those you can actually destroy these right here. But I don't know if it actually helps with anything. It's just kind of weird that it's there in the first place. Like, other areas, I know why the caps were there. I can figure that out, but why that particular cap is there, I don't. I have no idea, really. We almost got smushed. But we want to end up on top of this guy here. There we go. No, no. Mario, you fat bastard. I keep falling off the edge. I missed the N64 controller in this game. Uh, then again, I might not have been great on that one, either. I don't know. The DS version can be a bit of a pain to uh, play, simply for the fact that uh, you have to use either the touchscreen or the D-pad, I think. I remember having a couple problems with the DS version, but I, I did get all 150 stars on that one eventually. I just don't remember how many troubles it gave me. Come on, there you go. I thought you guys were supposed to be synced. There. Get up on the fucking... Dude, dude, you're killing me. Yeah, as I have said, this level is very easy to die on. Urgh, the camera is horrible. I mean, the camera's not that bad for, you know, being one of the very first uh, 3D platformers, but it definitely could have used an update for this particular game, because at the moment, uh, and I don't, I don't think they're ever going to change it, uh, it, the right analog stick just functions as the C buttons, which if you go to the, if you press C right, or, you know, right on the analog stick, it goes a quarter turn to the, to the side or whatever, you know. 
and there it's not like a regular camera where you, you can control it by like inches or something like that they, they could have updated that but I guess they just wanted to keep the feel of the N64 which is fine but sometimes it is a little more irritating than it needs to be okay let's uh, let's go right here not even worry about falling off the edge here take it slower There you go. Got him. Got you. Okay, we need to grab this guy as well. Come on, fall asleep. Luckily, they're very... They're very uh, easy to put to sleep, so it works out great for us. Let's see, grab you. Or don't. Okay, fine. I can deal with not grabbing them. Let's see. Can I grab this one the easy way? I don't know. Actually, no. Hang on. Uh, what am I doing? There you go. Yeah, you can jump up to that one. Reasonably easy. It's not the smoothest thing ever, but it will work. And right down here is a godsend because they're going to have, I think, three or four coins for us to grab. Yes, yeah, so that's 20 coins right there, which is perfect. And then there's those. Perfect. Yeah, we're doing real good on finding these little dudes. And then there's also, I think, the tent over here. I hope I don't fall off into the edge here, because that would suck. But luckily, you should be able to... Aim rather well. I was close, but not quite. Yeah, you should be able to aim reasonably well to get these star, uh, these coins up here. Let's see, let's go right about... Right about there, there we go. don't really care about you and I don't want to grab the star by accident so let's just ignore it all right we need 14 more which is not hard at all we're gonna get I think about five oh, no, we're gonna get five right here then we're gonna get about five on the next red coin so yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get our hundred coin real quick if assuming I don't die again yeah that's, that's gonna be six right there so we need two more and then one of the uh, thwomp dudes will give it to us. Actually, no, I think the uh, the dudes up, the dudes that are, you know, big blocks that just float up in one spot, those are thwomps, and the, re the rest of these guys are uh, something else, I think. I'm not worried about you. Yeah, the, uh, the blocks are womps, I think. You know, the walking concretes. I think. I don't know. Doo -doo. Let's go ahead and grab that. There's our star right there. Awesome. Super easy. Let's grab it. You want to save? Yes. That means I don't have to do it again. Awesome. I'm still going to collect uh, more coins from these guys, but why not? Let's see, we have six. We need two more red coins. That's not too bad. I don't know if I've ever tried anything with these guys right here. So I know in other games... Okay, I was about to say in other games like Super Mario World, you can just kind of clunk them. I don't know if this actually works out rather well in here, but we'll find out. Oh, well, it didn't work there, so... Anyways, remember the block that I told you to remember? This one right here, you kick it a few times. And it goes down, and you can just jump across like so. Or, you could be stupid, and it would still work, but significantly more dangerous uh, by just jumping to one of the islands and hoping for the best. I'm going to go nice and slow here. Because... <sighs> camera. I'm trying to go slow here, but it won't... 
it won't let me change the camera to a better view so that's great like I'm stuck with this view right here I cannot get it directly behind Mario I don't know why they insist on specific camera angles that are not terribly useful here. There we go. Right, grab you. 120 coins. We're doing pretty good. Awesome. And we could also grab some other coins right here. So why not? And then let's just go ahead and dive down. Grab you guys as well. There we go, we got 130 star or 130 coins for our attempt on getting the coins here. Not bad. Compared to, you know, getting 102 or 103 in Bob Bob Battle Battlefield. So I like it. The only problem with getting all those coins is it takes a while to count up. And apparently every 50 coins you get an extra life. I thought it was gonna be like hundred like uh, Super Mario World, but I never actually paid attention to it, so I didn't notice. Cool. Anyways, we got, I think, two more stars here in Womp's Fortress. Yeah. So, fall into the Cage Island. This one is kind of fun. We get into the tree here. And there's an owl that shows up, because why not? Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold B to grab on. Release B to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go as long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. Or you could also use A. Either one works. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, just uh, keep holding A, and then whenever you're ready to be dropped, then you let it go. And I think he has his own set little path. No, I get, no, it looks like you can looks like you can control him a little bit. So our goal is that uh, little island right there with the star in it. And good luck controlling the camera because it's not working here. And he is ooh, dropping us perfectly. Awesome. He does go lower as you continue to hold on to him. And if you hold on too long, he will just drop you and say, Hey, lay off the pasta, Mario. Or something similar to that. So you want to be careful about holding on to him for too long. Blast away the wall. This one is easy, but painful. Doo -doo. Yeah. So, we actually do need the cannon for this. So this is the second star in this world that we are required to have the cannon open. So get into the cannon here, and you want to aim for that little bit of wall right there, the top corner, and there we go. There's a star hidden in the wall. Awesome. I think if you hit the other corner on this wall right here, uh, there is a, a one up in there. Yeah, you can see where the line is, where it's going to break. No? I thought there was a... I thought there was a one-up in there. I guess not. Oh well. You will. Now, if you aim your cannon just right, you can hit the, uh, the star. And there you go. You stop in midair because it's power star. And you're good to go. Awesome. And we are done with the second level of the game with a total of 15 stars, which is, you know, pretty good. Next episode, we're going to head into one of my not-quite-so-favorite levels over here behind this three-door and get the six stars out of seven that we can get there because there's going to be one that we cannot get yet. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.